hopefully we see a little bit more size through the afternoon with those beautiful glassy conditions um, you know the way this wave performs i mean it's got this amazing bowl the wave wraps in and we could possibly see 10 point rides here and we've seen a number of those over in surfing history at this event here at honolulu bay uh, we've got the three surfers in the lineup for the opening heat the headliner being the highest seed is joanne de fay wearing that bright pink jersey blue is courtney conlog and the white jersey's paige harab thin bending on the inside those are the ones you want those big huge wide open tube rides so just a sign of things to come let's have a look having a look now and grabbing this one is courtney conlog straighten things out so that's the official first wave of the morning and the contest here at the beach waver maui pro and got to call up to surf it and one of the bigger swells that we've had for this series and we'll never forget what she did in some solid conditions here comes joanne de Fay, representing reunion island in france big snap off the top nice timing for that arc for a second maneuver Let's have a look at the phase wave first. You can see how she moves her foot right back on that kick pad. And that just gives her an indication that her feet are in the right spot. And it gives her the green light to really hook into those big turns. A couple of nice smooth turns there. It's Conlog. Already on her back up board. Drills that snap well overhead on this section. She'll just arc it off the top. Pumping conditions through the inside. Clean re-entry for Courtney Conlong from Santa Ana, California. Broken board, second wave solid. That'll be compared to the phase start. And now the goopy foot from New Zealand will be holding priority. And Courtney, out the back. We know what she's capable of on bigger waves. You can see how she gets nice and low. Sort of really nursing it off the bottom somewhat here this morning. Beautiful jam in the pocket. Nothing over the top here. Just trying to fix up, get that broken board scenario out of the back of her mind and uh, get that positivity flowing again. Yes, no, I'm not one of the greatest of all time. She is. Stephanie Gilmore, as we see a takeoff there, waves are pumping. Let's not talk world titles, too early for that, but let's talk the conditions that's pumping out there. It's pretty much heaven, this place, when there's swell, and when it's consistent, which we've seen this morning, there's like, it's a set every five, 10 minutes, so that's that's exactly what we want to see, and I'm so excited. Paige here qualifying through the QS. She'll be comfortable back on tour next year. She gets to now wait for the right one that she's looking for. It's going to be a setup turn for Courtney Conlog. Rolling down into the open face. High line wrap. This thing's really starting to bowl and open up through the cave oh. section into the pit with Courtney Conlog. Great read. Not the easiest entry into that barrel, and she made it count. But have a look at the size, Joe. This is what we've been excited about. Just the sheer size of uh, Honolulu Bay. And once that wave starts to uh, work itself out, clean itself up, we're going to see some incredible tube rides here. Courtney, nice and low off the bottom, keeping that body compressed. And then right here, what do I do? Decides to pull up under the hood here, just sneaks up underneath it. Nice little pocket ride there from Courtney. Not a deep barrel, but very critical entry into it. Just ducks underneath the guillotine. That could have spelt disaster there for Courtney, but perfect timing from her, finishing off a good wave there. Yeah, Joanne DeFay, uh, no stranger to powerful waves. Uh, it's kind of when she starts to get going, doesn't she? Nice deep bottom turn, and loads of nice maneuver, and it's all about getting your turns in the Sorry, right place at the right time now, here. Uh, and then waiting for it through the inside bowl, beautiful connection again. That she had with that little end section pit that was wide open. Seeing more action out the back, Paige Harrop with a 2.5 to her name. Has the lip on her heel. Oh. She'll just lay low <laughs> and get smashed on that section inside the pit. That one was just keeping her behind. She couldn't get out in front. Little opportunity setting up here and the insiders are still well overhead. Setting up this first turn is Joanne DeFay looking for a 6.44 for Courtney's lead. She'll have to step off. So DeFay's previous ride, her best, but still chasing the 6.44 to catch up with Courtney Conlog. Critical mark in the heat where you're really focusing on getting one solid keeper towards the end. Locking in a big bottom turn, clean re-entry off the top for Joanne DeFay. Wanted to pull in on that section, it's going to clamp down, forcing her to kick out. 
Nice clean start. I love that off the top wrap. Yeah. DeFay said a lot of times she's thinking about brand new surfboards for a lot of venues on tour. This year, she just said she went to a lot of old faithfuls in her quiver, so she wouldn't be guessing on what it would feel like. How'd you like that first section? First section, beautiful. You can see how she really opened up and then uh, a double pump bottom turn. I think that what I'm looking at here this morning, Joe, you can't, you, you really can't wait too long off the bottom. Oh. She goes straight down. That's going to give some room for DeFay. First turn, a solid off the top. Now DeFay into that section that's tough to beat over the foam ball and just a warping inside pin. It's not just that super clean exit to make that tube. It changes shape. Just trying to pull that off there. Board not really grabbing. She got a bit of uh, air underneath that. Joanne DeFay as well just takes, picks up the, the scrap, so to speak, and tries to get an inside line through that tube. Didn't quite work out. See this takeoff once again from the bluff pots. Late takeoff, slid out. Yeah. I mean, watch the fins here. Watch how she gets a little bit of air under her board. Right there. Skips out and just didn't quite get enough drop. 55 seconds to go. Committing to this one, our goofy foot from New Zealand. Paige Harab locking in this section well overhead and that lip is going to hit her right in the back of the neck. Takes her straight down. A lot of power. Remember what you see in the broken board this morning from Conlog? Who's up now? Beautiful drawn out bottom turn. Hack off the top. Air dropping. Arcing this one into this section that's going to open up. Nice and hollow. Still out in front of the pit, but more room for maneuvers. The Californian lines up that clean off the top. Attacking the inside section, and she's out of there. Courtney making it look easy, showing how much size is on the, the face of the wave here at Honolulu. That she did here. Let's have a look. Nice late drop. Watch how low she gets off the bottom. Drives off the bottom. This first maneuver, definitely the one. And then she kind of got in that barrel hunting mode through the end section of the wave here. And she comes off the bottom, kind of wipes a little bit off that because she was sort of almost looking for the tube right there. What do I do? Kind of caught in between uh, two minds of what to do. Looking for the barrel. Didn't quite offer itself and then finished off. So I think the, the bulk of the points really is going to come for that committed first turn. The sizey section of the wave. What an awesome way to kick off this event. Courtney Conlog with a massive heat win, sending DeFay and Harab into round two. We'll take a quick break. Round one, heat number two, coming up next.